Happy Monday, y'all. This is Charlene from Lady Waiting 222, and today is our Monday mini devotional. So we'll be reading from Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 through 31. And I'm reading the New Living Translation. And so it reads, After Jesus left the girl's home, two blind men followed along behind him, shouting, Son of David, have mercy on us. They went right into the house where he was staying, and Jesus asked them, Do you believe I can make you see? Yes, Lord, they told him, we do. Then he touched their eyes and said, Because of your faith, it will happen. Then their eyes were opened and they could see. Jesus sternly warned them, Don't tell anyone about this. But instead, they went out and spread his fame all over the region. So I want to talk to you about what happens when faith and desperation collide. How desperate am I? How desperate are you? In this story, we see blind men, right? So thinking about it, it says blind, two blind men followed Jesus. That word followed means to follow after someone or something in a determined and purposeful manner when you look it up. Think about that. Two blind men followed after someone, the someone being Jesus, in a very determined and purposeful manner. Hmm. I would say they were desperate, right? These blind men were doing this despite the fact that they were blind. They were following Jesus in a determined and purposeful manner. I want to say, don't allow your limitations or your circumstances to prevent or hinder you from pursuing Jesus or use it as an excuse not to. Because these men were blind. So they were literally walking by faith. They were literally following Jesus by faith. The second thing that indicates their faith and desperation colliding is the use of their voice. The scripture says, two men followed, right? And they were shouting, son of David, have mercy on us. They used their voice. They were literally walking by faith, right? Blindly, literally. And they were using their voice shouting, so they were trying to get Jesus' attention, like, hey, hello, right? Um, the word shouting, right, or that word in the Greek means to scream, yell, exclaim, or to cry out, right? And so these are two things that they did. Even before the question was asked of them, they um, demonstrated their faith. So Jesus then asked them the question, do you believe I can? make you see, right? Do you believe I can make you see? And their response was, yes. And Jesus said, because of your faith, it will happen. Their faith was demonstrated, but it was evident that these men had faith, not just because of how they answered Jesus with their yes, but even before the question was asked, their actions demonstrated their desperation and their faith. Desperation called them to follow Jesus blindly in a determined and purposeful manner. Even as Jesus continued on his way, he kept walking when they were crying out. And their desperation called them and caused them to cry out loud. We know that when we're desperate, all formality goes out the window. We're no longer wondering, we're no longer wondering how we look or how we sound. We're desperate, just like the woman with the issue of blood. She no longer cared how she looked, or the fact that she was defying all laws because she was considered unclean because of um, her bleeding. Desperation, all formality goes out the window. So this is what it looks like when faith and desperation meet. You are determined to follow Jesus in a determined and purposeful manner, no matter your physical limitations, geographical limitations, uh, mental, emotional, whatever your limitations might be, you don't allow that to hinder you from moving forward and pursuing Jesus with reckless abandon. Secondly, you're going to use whatever you have. In this case, the men used their voice. They shouted, right? This is a scream. They cried out. They exclaimed. They wanted to get Jesus' attention. So even before they answered the question, yes, Lord, I believe, right? Yes, Lord, I believe that you can make me see. 
Their faith and their desperation demonstrated even before their speech and what they said indicated that they had faith and they wanted to be healed. So I challenge you today, when your faith and desperation collide, what could possibly happen? When your faith and desperation collide, it looks like you following and pursuing Jesus, no matter your limitations or hindrances, there's no excuse. And it also looks like you actively taking a step, using whatever it is that you have, to get the Lord's attention for what it is that you desire from him. And he'll meet you. Jesus said, because of your faith, because of what you demonstrated, because of what I've seen, right? Because, because of the action that you took, Jesus said, because of your faith, right? It will happen. And it did. They were able to see. They got their healing. So I encourage you, when faith and desperation collide, it's a force to be reckoned with. When faith and desperation collide, miracles can happen. Miracles can take place. I pray that you're blessed. I pray that you're encouraged. And I look forward to talking with you all soon. Y'all have a great week. Take care.